Satellite seizure, drone assaults highlight latest controlling action of the Myanmar junta. It bears watching all of us that live in lands in which there are corporate nationalists that have the ability to control more and more aspects of our lives. At, at some point, human beings are going to have enough. And when that happens, you should look at what's going on in Myanmar and see how it is that one, one party, the, the significant minority party, the Myanmar junta, is using its monopolization on violence to seek to control the vast majority of human beings that don't want to have anything to do with it. And you're seeing in this, in this latest exchange, what you're going to learn is we're going to have to have satellites that governments don't have access to in order for us to be truly free. Satellites in the hands of human beings outside of governments are just as important to us as guns are. And, and you're seeing it here. Myanmar information blackout worsens with internet limited satellite seas. This is from Global News CA. An information blackout under Myanmar's military junta worsened Thursday as fiber broadband services, the latest legal way for ordinary people to access the Internet, became intermittently inaccessible on several networks. Authorities in some areas have also started confiscating satellite dishes used to access international news broadcasts. Now you said satellites. Are you saying satellites? Because satellite is not a... Well, uh, and uh, I'm sure that they're... They're seizing satellites, however, you know, with the little computer, whatever thingy. So we need satellites that have encryption protection services so that governments can't access them. We need non-government satellites to protect the people against governments. Clearly. Myanmar junta uses Chinese drones to monitor protesters. I don't know whether my little scenario will play out or not. I think it will. I'm not sure. But in my scenario, I basically said at some point, this is going to be drone wars. Going to be drone wars in Myanmar, and it's starting with uh, the, the junta using, and what are they using? Chinese drones. Yeah, they're using Chinese drones to try to control their citizens. And then uh, that's from scmp.com. Then we got 614 civilians have been shot and killed so far, including children. Myanmar's brutal military crackdown, and that's from the CNN report. Rohingya in India under threat of deportation to Hunter ruled Myanmar. So India is about ready, and they ruled in a court that they can send him out. So India is about ready to send Rohingyans back to a region that wants to kill them. And all in an effort so that they can appear not to be too involved in what's going to want to get sucked into this, I guess. Uh, and, you know, nation states have to sacrifice people sometimes for the good of the whole. So the Rohingyans got to sacrifice them because they're not human beings. We as Christians, we, we, we are loyal to human beings first and foremost, regardless of their nation statism or their ethnicity or anything else. We are loyal to humans just for the sake of humanity alone, for human beings being made in the image of God. So for a Christian people, it would be un ungodly for us to send these Rohingyans away. Ungodly. But nation states, they don't operate under those parameters. They can't. They can't afford to. Because if they do, then the psychopaths will lose power. They can't afford that. Myanmar crisis sounds death knell for garment industry, jobs, and hope. So that's from Reuters. So well, there goes your economy with this. Uh, and that's what would happen. That, and that's why the in part why corporate nationalists are so dependent on china more and more because they understand that they're doing things that are destroying their economic power u.s blacklist man or state-owned gems enterprise so a little token token form for the united states standing up for the myanmar people a little token resistance there that's cute myanmar civilian envoy please and that's from channelnewsasia.com from Nikkei.com, we have Myanmar civilian envoys plead with China and Russia to stop junta. They're, 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 they're pleading to other nation states to, hop, to stop the junta while the junta is using assets from these same nation states, in the case of China, in, the case, in, in talking about the drones, to continue to oppress them. Malaysia defends envoys meeting with Myanmar's junta after backlash. So now Malaysians are like, oh, are you for this? Are you are you are you legitimizing them? And there you go. So we, I don't know whether we'll keep tracking uh, Myanmar for how long or not, but it might be for a while because it were it, it bears paying attention to if you are a freedomist. <laughs>